Yes, sir, Mr. President. Mr. Chairman, if I may perhaps uh, answer the question and answer the unasked question. <laughs> the bottom line is this, uh, the way under, when, when I got back home, I was told that this was um, available already and it had to go through various processes before we could purchase the same. Okay? That's the reason it's not in the budget because it is uh, until they got the FDA and the uh, uh, formulary uh, listing, no? No, they, they, we couldn't buy it. So, with the expectation that we, it will be getting all of this, but that next question is, how will you fund it? Because you couldn't fund it during the budget deliberations because it wasn't legally existing. Okay. So what was identified based on uh, special provisions in the 2014 and 2015 budget now that allows us to utilize this particular item. Savings. Savings. We were projecting that we, you know, once we get all of those steps done, then we can buy this. But when we buy this, we have to have that money. Now, <laughs> if, <laughs> just, to, just to complete the picture, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. If by December 31, you do not utilize these unutilized um, oh, well, I items, it reverts back to the National Treasury, then how do you fund it? You can go and ask for a supplemental budget, supplemental budget Apa. which requires uh, new Katagal. sources. Apa. No, no. Requires new sources of revenue. Apa. Okay. So we're talking, uh, this is December, we'll go to Congress and hopefully uh, with the election ban and everything, Congress will approve it and we can find the new source in the first quarter of the year. Yes, sir. Which I, I'm sure you know is very, very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find the new source to uh, identify all of this, yes, where sir. it will come from. All so of us know that. Yes, the end result is if you do not do this at this point in time, you are practically saying that the first implementation of this vaccine um, will be in uh, 2017. Because it will be for the next budget cycle, which will be under the new administration. And, of course, Assuming that there's a, a learning curve also at the beginning of the administration, there is no guarantee that it will happen in the 2017 year. Mr. President, let me assure you that I'm not even hinting at anything in terms of your integrity. I'm just stating facts here na talagang magdadala ng tanong na dapat paliwanag ng mga kumukuha nitong kondong ito para sa Deng Vaxia. Malinaw po sa aking kalooban yan. <laughs> We're just explaining, Mr. Chairman, yes, from, from our perspective, the choice is simple. We can implement it at this point in time, afford the protection, or wait um, at least a year as a minimum and expose our people to a risk that could have been prevented because of this vaccine. And again, may we just state for the record, what we had then was no none of this warning that happened in November 2017. Yes, sir.